we are at the verge of what we call the second quantum revolution. This means that we are about to see a change in our society because new technologies will be available to everyone. And this technology will have a really extreme uh, impact, I think, in everybody's life. And hopefully we'll be able also uh, to solve some of the great challenges of our time, from health to environment to energy. So it's very exciting at the moment to work in this field. We have in Finland a long tradition in, uh, in low temperature physics, for example, which means that we have been investigating superconducting nanostructures and sort of predecessors of superconducting qubits, quantum bits, already for many, many decades. So this gave us kind of a technological stepping stone towards this kind of a center of excellence. We are studying quantum phenomena and especially devices that work at the level of single energy quanta. This is quantum technology. Quantum technology is like a completely new way of solving practical problems and that could be compared to, for example, invention of electricity back in the day. We are hoping to achieve in our center a deeper understanding of how these artificial or man-made quantum systems, how they interact with the environment, and to control these quantum systems more efficiently based on this knowledge that we gain. In the center we have DTT, that is not only academic, but it's closer to the industry. And then we have the academia, two universities. So that's quite unique that we can work together, we can benefit from each other, and really have a chain from the academic fundamental invention to something applied. Because we have the center, we can now really take risks and look into the long-term results. We can see when our basic inventions in the academia get to the industry. Since this is a very unique time for quantum technologies, we also need to have education, to have new companies, startup companies, to learn how to deal with the conversation with the general public and with policy makers. So it is a moment in which really, I mean, we call it the second quantum revolution because new things are starting to happen and we need to grow. And Finland needs to play a crucial role and continue playing a, a crucial role uh, in this field.